Royals Watch is brought to you in part by Archie Johnstone Plumbing and Heating, 65 years in business, and Budget Blinds Victoria, style and service for every budget. Every hockey team depends on reliable goaltending, and the Victoria Royals believe they have that this season. And as Andy Neal tells us in tonight's Royals Watch, there's now an island flavor in the Royals' crease. In a season filled with roster moves, the Victoria Royals now have their last line of defense set in goalies Tyler Palmer and Campbell Arnold, two individuals with traits the Royals have always valued in the crease. Players that are competitive, that don't give up on pucks, that will make second and third saves if uh, they need to, and make key saves at key times, and we've really seen that uh, both from Tyler and from Campbell. The one constant between the Victoria Pipes is Palmer among the WHL leaders in saves after making the jump from Junior A in Alberta last season. Definitely in the in the skill department to the players, uh, everything's just a little bit better. Um, so you just got to be got to be prepared for that. He is so thoroughly prepared. I mean, he's dialed in just like a pro already at this young age of 18, and he's so calm as he goes about his business. Uh, I didn't have too much for expectations. Just want to have a good season, uh, give my team a chance to win. The Royals started the season with Austrian Sebastian Ranischitz, who came to prominence for his play at the most recent World Junior Hockey Championship, but health issues ended his season in Victoria. He's gone back to Vienna now to get healthy. Uh, it really affected his ability to move around the crease, and I think that was reflected in his on-ice play. He was really good at times, but he'll be the first to admit there were some pucks he just wasn't in position on, and that's no disrespect to him. It's not a negative. He just couldn't move around the way he normally would be able to. So the Royals shored up their goaltending with the acquisition of veteran Campbell Arnold from Spokane. Campbell's always had that reputation right from when he was in Bantam, all through the league as, first of all, a really quality person just like Tyler is, thoroughly prepared uh, just like Tyler is, and just an ultra, ultra competitive guy. Being an older guy, uh, you know, I want to use my voice to be a leader here, but like I said, my only job is to stop the pocket and help these guys get some wins. Arnold spent three seasons with the Chiefs, and the move to Victoria was bittersweet. Although difficult to leave, the Nanaimo product is excited to be back on Vancouver Island. Growing up watching these, these guys come to this arena and thinking, oh my God, this, this place is huge, look at all the fans. Uh, and then actually being able to play in front of them. It's, it's, you know. We know our fans, uh, they're great. They're tremendously loyal. They love the team. They're really connected with us in the community. But having some local people on the team as well, I think, enforce that even more. Decides to go left. 